Hello everyone, I'm Wilson Home. Uh, welcome to today's webinar. So for today's topic, it is rising transfer molding process analysis. So for the content, firstly, we will go through the introduction. So firstly, we will uh, ask ourselves why do we use RDM and what kinds of uh, simulation we can do with RDM. And uh, we will go uh, through, give you a quick look about the benefits of using uh, modern mod 3 RDM analysis. And I will show you the simulation capabilities and also what kinds of output we can see from the Model 3D simulation. And then we will talk more about the workflow, the current workflow of Model 3D RTN, how we can proceed, uh, how we can pre prepare the RTN analysis. And finally, we will go through some case studies and also the validations of real cases and some simulation cases. And uh, finally, we will introduce you a, uh, a permeability measurement service provided by Mode 3D Material Lab, which is called EasyPerm the machine. Okay, so uh, firstly, uh, why do we need, need to use RDM? So we will uh, start from the application side. Uh, so uh, or we, in, in the beginning of the um, uh, of the po polymer processing, people are using the pure polymer, for, or, or we, we may call it unreinforced polymer in the beginning. But when we require much more stronger structure, we will, uh, people try to add some fibers to it. So firstly, we may add short fiber, maybe glass fiber or even carbon fiber. But when short fiber is um, out of requirement, we may go for a long fiber process. So we will add longer fiber to the polymer to make the structure even more stronger. But when, when both of the two are, uh, uh, are not enough, we, will, we may go for fiber mat. So for fiber mat, it may be something like uh, uh, SMC, the sheet molding compound, or the GMT, the glass mat thermoplastic which are often be often used for larger parts uh, and which requires stronger uh, structural strength. Something like uh, maybe the oil pan in the car, we may use uh, the compression molding, the SMC process to uh, manufacture this kind of product. But when we are pursuing a uh, stronger material and also a lighter, uh, with lighter weight, we may go for fabric, uh, continue, con or, or, or you can say it is a continuous fiber, or sometimes it can be unidirectional fiber, uh, uh, unidirectional orientation.